Hello there everyone, my name is Oversoul, this is Oversoul Gaming, and you remember Ossifer Decon, and welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Here They Lie. So, he's played through the whole first level, um, you know, just regular playing. You saw me do most of the first level, and so now I'm gonna finish what little is left of the first level and play as much as I can of the second one before I just can't do it anymore. And, um... Because I made him play through some of it earlier, so he's gonna get his sweet revenge right now. But anyways, he also has a tendency to jump at horror shit happening on the TV, even if it's not happening to him. So, like, you know, he'll jump just watching a Let's Play. Haunt. Meh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so this should be funny on two accounts, because it'll be me and the game getting the shit scared out of him, and then him getting the shit scared out of him, watching me get the shit scared out of me. So... Double the spoopy, double the fun. <sighs> because Halloween. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> that was stupid. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Shut up, you don't know nothing about anything. Oh, there it is. Pretty sure I already answered this. In ah, my last sorry, break, got whatever. disconnected there. New phone, so, who dis? Why, um, why'd you come back? Oh, well, you know, I love the second. scenery. I love what you've done with the place. It's very Dana, gray. You dog. What, you getting it back together again? Dog, you. What was that? Is there someone there with you? Maybe. Probably. I don't know. You know, the, one of the spookiest things about this game is that the whole time I get this... Ugh, God damn it. I get this uncanny feeling that I'm being watched. Like, it just feels like someone's watching me the whole time. Oh, shut up. You know what I mean. Also, you're gonna have to speak up. Remember, I have earbuds in. Oh, yeah. I forgot. And remember that you want the people to be able to hear you, too. Hi. I, like, kind of lost my voice, but not really. This, Is this where the paper comes in? I can't remember. Look up. Look up. What? Up. Up. Why? Remember the Billy movie? Well, I don't know. I can't tell. Why is my ass vibrating? Oh, here it is. It's just sprint everywhere. I also, I can't see a fucking thing. The lens is so fogged up from my forehead sweat. <coughs> hmm. Go that way. That one. Over that one. Mm -hmm. Over that one. Ooh. Good. What was that? Nah, fuck it. I don't trust. I don't like. I don't want to go the ways that look spooky. Spooky. Wee paper. I don't know why that scared me. That was just more so cool than anything. Mmm, so mm -hmm. that ass though. Come here, give me that booty. Hey, where you going? I didn't get none of the booty. Well, you're not gonna get any. If anything, I'm gonna get my booty handed to me. Wow. Ring. Hey there, buddy. What? There she is. Dana was there, just now? Then why are you on the phone talking to me? Get going. Because you rang, you're you You're gonna fuck. miss your chance. How long have I been recording? Has it been 15 minutes yet? Uh, oh, that's right, I can't go this way. That's good. What does my phone say? I know it hasn't been that long. I'm just trying to be funny because I don't want to do this. Oh, five minutes, forty-five minutes. Ugh, not enough. At least I got a trophy. Okay, hold on. Let me wipe off my lens before I continue, <laughs> so I can more clearly see the horrors that are coming to mutilate me. <clears throat> yeah. Shut up. Okay. 
You know what? Something about having someone here talking to me keeps me grounded in reality a little bit so I don't get too lost in this, which makes it kind of easier. I hear something going, oh, sounds like a dying whale. I don't much like the sound of that. I don't like it. Oh, God. That's a bit of a drop. Do it. Ooh. Okay. Don't drop. I wish I hadn't looked down there. That made me th my, my legs feel weird. Good job, you. Shut up. Nope. How about we don't? Don't swim in. Ah, the fucking shit! <laughs> oh! I, I got out of the game somehow! <laughs> <laughs> Oops! Wait, where am I? Okay. Oh! Ah! What happened? I like... I'm pretty sure I got hit, but somehow I glitched forward. Wait. I think I hear that thing behind me. Okay, never mind. Where the fuck? I don't know. <gasps> I got so scared, the game fucking I scared the game into exiting. <laughs> I think I accidentally hit the PlayStation button in my freaking out, is yeah, what happened. You did. You almost hit me in the boss of the <laughs> That's gonna be funny to watch back. It's not funny right now, though. Do slow motion, watch you almost hit me in my fucking face. Thanks, man. I'm oh. gonna go down these stairs. I don't know if the mic heard me, but he almost hit me in my face when he was trying to jump backwards. And then nothing. Who think Oh my god. Do you not hear the noises? I do hear the noises, but you're right next to me, so you fucking yell. <laughs> I am I'm running. I don't know where the fuck I'm running to, but I'm going. Something bad is happening. Rawr. Oh shit. I'm running straight into the bowels of hell. I don't like this black shit. What's what? wrong with these people? Damn it! Shut up, Deacon. I don't, I don't trust you. Over here. God no. Rawr. It's really dark in here. Rawr. It's really <laughs> fucking dark in here. Don't you have a flashlight? I can't see anything. You have a flashlight. No. Damn oh, things. Someone in the streets. I got out of there quick, but my God, it seemed like a. <laughs> If you guys can't tell, he's kind of really breathing right now, and almost my ear. I don't know where I am. What, what the hell happened, happened to this city? This is scary as fuck. And why can't well, I remember? Ugh. What? It's way too dark! I can't see anything! Oh my god, is it really- is it that dark to you? Uh, yeah, it is actually, but I can actually kind of see. Oh my god, that was like claustrophobically unpleasant. Like, I felt like I was legit going through one of those pitch black haunted house moments. Oh! Did you see that? Yeah, hello, friend. At the end of the alleyway, yes, you saw that? Yes, I did. That's why I backed up from the screen. He sounds like he's having a pleasant meal down there. I, I suppose we should just leave him be. Oh god, he's literally right there. Is it delicious? Is it num num? No, don't you dare to. No. No. How do I get past him? I'm just gonna. Okay, goodbye. Oh, that was truly terrifying. Just to let you all know, I'm, gonna, I'm covering my ears because he's way too, too, way too fucking loud when he yells. Okay, I don't know what I picked up, but. Good for me? Why, do you think something's coming? Yeah, I uh, think. I think it's a dark alleyway, and you're loud as fuck whenever you scream. Hi! Please don't kill me. I promise I will be your friend. Just, uh... I'll just go about my business. Oh, wait, are you the masturbating demon? 
you might be. Okay, I'll see you later then. Goodbye. I remember seeing him. If that's the master beating demon, then he's actually not bad. He's just really weird. Because I remember seeing clips of him in game st uh, spots uh, thing. Are you always this loud whenever you record? I have headphones in, you cock. Stephanie's right upstairs. I'm surprised she doesn't like, get ready for that yelling. I just want to read it that radiate uh, blah, 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 reiterate the fact that I can't see a fucking thing. Yeah, it's probably because something bad's going up here soon. Shut up! You're not helping. I'm gonna make you do this right after I'm done. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> and then we'll record it. No. See how you feel. Uh, no. Um. Sure, why not? Come on, let's have a satanic orgy. Let's do it. Come back, masturbating demon. Ugh. He was masturbating over that corpse like that guy in Outlast. That's definitely not pleasant. Oh god, I really hope that guy's dead. I really hope he's dead. Uh, eh. I don't want to grow up, I'm a Toys R Us kid. Holy fucking shit, this is fucking fucked. Yeah. Oh my god, I am feeling... I'm not feeling sick, that's the fu that's the cool, that's, that's at least the good thing right there. What hey, are these things? Press L1 or R2 to run. I know how to sprint. It's R1. It doesn't matter what the button is. I don't fucking care. Whatever works. What? Who's growly -walling? I don't appreciate that. Should I go in the... Uh, can you? This is probably a bad idea. Oh, I can't. It won't work. Okay. Oh, I don't wanna... What am I doing here? This is a dead end. What was the point in this bullshit? Dead bodies. Oh. I had a toy, like this little glowworm toy. What? And um, you know, I put it like on the on the lamp. Oh, that must be help, so, like, Dana or whatever the fuck her name is. And, you know, it'll stay warm and it wouldn't make the room so dark. I didn't really like dark rooms, but it was more. Of, like, I bet you now I can go through that door. Which I knew was fake, but yep. as a kid, you still have this imagination and everything. Imagination. I don't know where my little glowworm is. Uh, I guess he got lost. This is awful. This is great. This is going to be great practice for Resident. Man. What is this monkey shit? I don't want to be in here. You finally make it home and it's all fucked up. Someone's been in your place touching your stuff, leaving shit that's not yours lying around. And the girl at the door is like, no, baby, no, it's cool. You just forgot. Please, baby. Okay. Why is it all lit up now? Why? Okay, so now what? Oh, it's Skinny Britches McGee! He's come to eat my liver! Alright. Yo, Holmes. We cool? Then. Do I have to go back? Do I follow the demon? What's up those stairs? Nothing? I really feel like I'm making a mistake here. I kind of feel like this is... No, never mind. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, go fuck yourself already! 
Oh shit, biscuits! Oh no! He's right there! What the fuck? You can't see me, right? I'm crouching. Okay, bye bye! You're like a weird monkey with antlers. <laughs> so this is the part where I have to like... Isn't there a way you can crouch? I thought there was a crouch option. I have a fucking flashlight? Since when? I told you press the button. The other it never told me to press anything. There was never an indication of that. <laughs> I thought there was a crouch option, but what, I guess what not. What button is it? Circle. Oh shit, here he comes again. Shine the, uh, shine the fucking light at him. No! <laughs> How about you eat shit? I don't like it though. Okay, so I have to get somewhere. And I have to try to get there without him getting me. Yay. I've played enough Soma and Outlast to know how to do shit like this. It's just so different in VR. Because VR makes it worse. <laughs> Worst experience for you. You're used to looking at. A Shut up! You're next. No. I'm not here. You can't see me. I'm probably like clipped into my own body and everything, but. Okay, so he follows a pattern. I just gotta memorize the pattern. I can get around him. I really hope he doesn't come this way. I really hope he goes back the way he came. Please go back the way you came. Please. Oh, thank Christ. I think he went forward instead of backwards. No, he went that way. Is there another one? I think I can go in here. Although it doesn't sound like I want to. Oh no! Why did I go in here? No! Immediate F no! Fuck off the fucking fuck. Get the fuck out of Dodge. What the shit? I interrupted him in the middle of his meal. I'm glad that I wasn't the next one. Holy fuck me. Oh, that's the same thing. Okay. So this way then. Nope, nope. How about you go fuck yourself with those big ass antlers on your head? Oh god, I am shaking. Oh shit, I think, I think yep. Is that not it? Oh, the screen's getting white. Is this the end of the level? No? No, is it just getting. Yes? No? Make up your fucking mind! Locked. Oh. What's this? Just, you know, walking down the street. Broke ass Christmas tree? People are. I hate to use the word hate, but sometimes you just have to hate people for how they are, the way they are. 
It's not because it's the way their mother and their father raised them. Am I just supposed to wait it's for this story to stop the and way then I can they choose on? to act? Even though their mother and their father treated them well, they choose to be mean and evil because they don't get things their way. Okay. Um. Now I'm really confused. Wait a There's nowhere to go. Uh, go back the way you came. Maybe there is. Those boards, maybe? Won't let me do anything. Oh, no, here we go. <laughs> Did I get the fucking tits in my Is that my guy whimpering like a little bitch? Did you hear that? He was like, oh, oh, oh. Man, that would be a fucking pussy. Yeah, I can't hear that. It's just a little skull demon. All it wants to do is rip your flesh asunder and eat you alive. Come on, is that really so bad? He looked straight at it. He said, oh. Wasn't it cute? Like, so adorable, I want one. It's like... <laughs> He, he, was just, he was just like scared, but you wanted to see his face at the same time, so you were just looking at him while you are screaming at him. I might, actually save, I might actually save playing this for whenever you're around from here on out, because I don't know if I can do it otherwise. <laughs> I think we're evolving. And what? human beings are no exception. We're always As Spongebob would say, we're at a stage barnacles. Now that we need to grow out of. <laughs> right. It looks like barnacles. Humanity's uh, yeah, yeah. just uh, on a crash yeah. course to. Barnacles. Me, you know? <laughs> but people, I, everybody I talk to, I mean, everybody seems to know that. Ah, you know, it's my shoulder! Do anything about it. I just kind of accept the fact that, you know, we're all going to die one day and might as well make the most of it while we're here. I'm going to chew on my own arm. That, <laughs> that life and death are just two sides it's of the same song. darn thing. <laughs> Alright, I had enough of looking at this. Then go. Okay. Hold on. Oh, Jesus. I've been going at this for almost a half hour. I didn't realize. Okay. I'm going to call this a good stopping point because, believe it or not, as much help as it's been actually having someone sitting here with me, keeping me grounded in reality, this game, because of the way it makes you, like, makes your nerves so wrecked because it's a horror game, and because, like, the weird movement shit... It's almost impossible if you're, like, still kind of fresh to VR, which I still kind of am with the PlayStation VR and shit. I haven't done a lot of twin stick games. It's kind of impossible to get through something like this for more than 15 or 20 minutes in one sitting without starting to feel kind of sick until you've become more seasoned in VR, like you're a VR veteran. Some people don't get sick at all, but I'm starting, my stomach is starting to feel kind of funny, and I know that that's usually a telltale sign that you need to get the fuck out, so. Oh, dodge. Yeah. I would say I covered a pretty decent amount of ground, don't you think? Yeah. That was, that was fucking terrifying. No, look, look, look. You're the guy that just popped his uh, head out of the woods, right? You're like this. Ah, as you're walking past him, you're just like this. Look. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Man, that'll be funny to go back and watch. But, ooh, God, my ah. stomach. So, yeah, I feel like... Here's the thing, though. People... People always hate on the developers for them getting sick in the VR games, but the thing you have to realize is that because everybody's body is different and the way it works, it's it's different. You can't always, you can't really blame the developer for you getting sick in VR because that's not their fault. And it's not technically yours, it's your, your anatomy's fault, it's your body's fault. It's just your physical makeup, your build makes certain types of VR games make you sick while others don't. For example, I can handle Drive Club VR, he can handle Drive Club VR. Um, Payton was able to. Yeah, and but yet it's made other people sick. Or, like, I can't play Riggs Mechanized Combat League. I haven't had him try it yet. I'll have to have him try it, too, because um, 
it's good research too to see what kind of VR games make people sick and which ones don't because it's different for different people. And I think like the fact that he wears glasses might make a difference in some what games make him sick and what don't. And the fact that I have 2020 vision means I'm more sensitive to certain things in VR, which is why I get the motion sickness. Plus, let me tell you something. Going down that many steep fucking stairs in VR is really unnerving on the stomach. It's like, oh, you like feel like you're descending. And it's weird because it's not actually motion sickness that you get. <laughs> he said, oh, it feels like a shit just came out. <laughs> it's, it's, not actually, oh. it's not actually motion sickness that you get in VR. It's called simulation sickness, which is actually the opposite. Motion sickness is like where... Um, where your body tells the brain it's moving, but the but the brain knows that you're not moving, so that you get motion sickness, like when you're riding in the car. Whereas simulation sickness is the opposite, where your brain thinks it's moving, but the body tells it it's not moving, so then it gets confused and you get simulation sickness. Wait, do you mean reading in a car or just a car? No, just regular motion sickness in a car, on a roller coaster, oh, anything like that. Okay. Anything where your body is moving, but you're not the one moving it. That's motion sickness. VR is the opposite, though, to where you're not moving, but your brain thinks you are because in the game you are. But they're making those here soon to where they're actually... A yeah, that's, that's why they're coming out with those treadmill things, so where you're actually walking, so it feels like you're moving in the game. That's supposed to help eliminate some of that twin stick movement. Also, technically... Uh, the developers didn't make this one so you can stand up and use your body as the camera like they should have because I agree with the maker of uh, Oculus. Twin stick controls in VR is poison. It'll make you sicker than shit if you're sensitive to that. And really, it should be standing or swivel chair, and you should be using your head as the camera. But they didn't compensate for that because they put a body in the game to ground you in it, but if you turn your head without turning the stick, the body doesn't move, and then what you have is you have a backwards head. So, yeah, it's kind of stupid, but whatever. So I'm actually, I can still play this. It's just that I probably, because of the way this, how easily this game can make me sick, I have to play it probably with someone to keep me grounded in reality so that I don't get sick as quick. And also I have to take it in short bursts, which is fine because it's supposedly only like a two to four hour game, so I can do it in multiple episodes. Um, and it is fun. I'm enjoying it, even though it's scary as fuck. I'm enjoying the hell out of it. So I do. I would like to uh, continue, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to take frequent breaks in between, and I'm going to have to take it in like 15, 20-minute episodes. Otherwise, at least until I can get more used to being in there longer. Ooh. I kind of wish I hadn't sat there and said all that, because it just made me sicker just talking about it. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. I, I still made it this far, and it wasn't until just now that I started feeling sick, too. It's not like, and that's how it works with VR, too. It's not something that gradually builds up, like, ooh, I'm starting to feel sick, but I can push through it. No, it's like, one minute you're fine, and the next minute, boom, you're sick. It's just, it just hits you like a fucking freight train. That's why, like, out of nowhere, I was like, ooh, you know, like, ooh, because that's when it just, it hit me, and my stomach was like, and I felt like, Ugh, you know, so, it happens. It happens! So anyways, I've yammered on enough about this bullshit. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, Philosopher Deacon, for sitting here and watching and enjoying my suffering. Um, yeah, and almost getting hit in the face and you being way too fucking And, and my suffering on two levels now. And uh, Dylan can enjoy my suffering even more. He's suffering because I got spooked. And uh, I'll get to see in the face cam whether or not anything made him jump, so you better not lie to me, because I'll see it anyway. I, I jumped. Okay, good. I, I jumped at the first one when you almost hit me in the face, like you... When I closed the game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I did get hit in the game, too, I'm not sure. But I had, like, a break. You did this. Here's you, and so the thing's, like, off to the left. Wait, like, let's save it. I'm doing my outro. So anyway, sorry. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for also for Dika for joining me and enjoying my suffering. My suffering on two levels with me getting jump scared and then I suffered at the end because I started not feeling well. It's still a form of suffering. You can still enjoy watching me suffer regardless of whether it's through the spooky or not. And as uh, I'll put a link to his channel down below. He didn't really do anything but sit here and watch and talk, but whatever. It still helped. Hey, I'm still a guest. And, uh, like always, I will catch you possibly on another day, definitely at another time, likely in another video. Okay, goodbye! I'm gonna make him do this shit, too. Don't worry, I'll put it on his channel. <laughs>